Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will explain how to add fit curves to a plot in Grapher and edit those fit curves. In Grapher, fit curves can be added to line plots, scatter plots, class scatter plots, and histograms. To add a fit curve to a plot, select the plot in the Object Manager. In the ribbon on the Graph Tools page in the Add to Graph section, Click the Fit Curve button. A linear fit curve was added to the plot by default. Grapher has many fit equations available. To plot a function of Y fit curve, change the fit direction. To change the fit curve from linear to another preset, select the fit curve layer in the Object Manager. On the Plot page, click over Linear and choose one of the options shown below. Multiple fits can be added to one plot. To add a custom fit, click Graph Tools, Add to Graph, click the drop down on the Fit Curve button, and click Define Custom Fit. In the Define Fit Equation dialog, name the custom equation. Enter the equation into the equation box. Parameters can be single letter or multiple letters so we could have used the word slope instead of the letter A to refer to the slope variable in this equation. Parameters are not case sensitive. Click Auto Add Parameters to add all parameters from the equation to the parameters list, and then click on them in the list to define their initial value and range of values if known. Alternatively, enter parameters individually into the parameter box and click Add to add them to the parameter list. Click OK to add this custom equation to the plot. It will also be available in the default fit type list. To remove a fit, select the fit in the Object Manager and press Delete on your keyboard to remove it. To edit the display of fit curves, select a fit curve in the Object Manager. The properties are displayed in the Property Manager. The symbol, fill, and line pages contain properties for adding symbols to the fit line, filling below or above the fit line, and changing the line properties for the fit line. The plot page contains various options, some of which are available for all or most fits, and others which are unique to certain fit curve types. For example, all fit curves except for the average fits have a number of points option which defines how smooth the fit curve is. Most fits include the option to add a confidence interval. Once a confidence interval has been added, you can select it to edit the properties. Some properties are only available for specific fits. Only polynomial fit curves contain a polynomial degree option. Specific information on the properties available for each fit can be found in Grapher's help. If you're interested in only fitting a portion of the plot, Grapher has three options available. You can limit a fit to a specific class in a class scatter plot, limit the fit to use a subset of the data, and limit the extents of the fit curve. To limit the fit to a specific class in a class scatter plot, Select the fit in the Object Manager, then click the Plot tab in the Property Manager. In the Fitted Plot section, change the class to the desired class. This option is only available for a fit in a class scatter plot. The linear fit is now only fitting the third class, but it is still applied to the entire plot. Unchecking the Apply Fit to Entire Plot option will limit the fit only to the specified class. The next option is to limit the fit to use a subset of the data. This will change the shape of the fit curve and how far the fit curve extends. This can also be used to reduce or remove the impact of poor quality data at the ends of a data distribution, which can skew the fit curves and confidence intervals. To limit a fit curve in this way, select the fit curve to edit. On the plot page in the property manager, in the fitted plot section, Uncheck the box next to Apply Fit to Entire Plot. Set the minimum plot value to Fit and the maximum plot value to Fit as desired. 
Another way to limit the fit curve is to modify the plot interval settings on the data limits page. This will not change the shape of the fit curve, it will only update the fit curve extents. To extrapolate or limit a fit curve, set the plot limits to custom and then enter custom first x and last x values. Once the fit curves have been added, there are a few ways to view or display statistics about the fit curves. Fit curve statistics can be viewed for one curve at a time or for all fits present in the graph. To display statistics for all fits in one report, select the plot, then in the ribbon on the Graph Tools tab, click Copy All or Report All. The report for a single fit can be viewed through a few options. Let's take a look at two of these options now. One option is to select the curve and then click the Insert button in the Statistics section of the plot page. Click on the page and the statistics are inserted. These are linked to the fit curve. So if the fit curve changes, this text will change as well. By default, Grapher formats the statistics with eight significant figures. This formatting can be changed in the statistics section. Because the inserted statistics are linked, we can see these changes update in the statistics immediately. Another option is to select the curve and click the display button in the statistics section of the plot page. This displays the statistics in a report window. You can save this report using the file save command or copy paste out the desired statistics for insertion into Grapher or another application. This concludes the video for adding and editing fit curves in Grapher. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.